every time I'm about to get ready to film, you come and you sit right here. What am I supposed to do with you? Hmm? Okay, bye. <laughs> Hey guys, it's V. So today I am doing another lasting impression review video for you guys. I love filming these. They are like one of my favorite videos to film because I get to kind of, you know, take you guys throughout my day while testing out a beauty product and giving you my opinion on it. So let's get into today's lasting impression, which is going to be on the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I am really, really excited to try this out. I picked mine up from Target. It is also on Ulta's website, but at Target it was $7.99. So on Ulta's website, it's also for $7.99 right now. I haven't seen it in stores anywhere else, but I'm sure it will slowly migrate its way around. So the reason that this eyeliner is really, really exciting for me to try is because it has a brush tip. And you guys, you know that my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper with the brush tip is my holy grail eyeliner. It's just the one that I use, the one that I've repurchased multiple times. I also do like the Physician Formula Eye Booster, but it's just not as good as this in my opinion. So I am really excited to see if this eyeliner is going to be as good as this one because I love this one. So let's read what Ulta has to say about it on their website. They say, live for the super sharp wing inspo don't just like all your faves draw them yourself using NYX Cosmetics Epic Ink Liner featuring a slender and supple brush tip this intensely pigmented waterproof pen lets you achieve black liquid lines effortlessly every stroke is unbelievably fluid for a defined finish control the thickness of your lines by pressing down just a touch fine and natural broad and bold this look is always up to you so it says it is waterproof it says it is intensely pigmented so i am really excited to test this out throughout the day and see how it wears for you guys and see how it applies and everything as for directions on how to use it says simply swipe across the lash line draw lightly for a thin line or press down for a wider line so just like any other liquid eyeliner in a brush tip form so let's get into putting this on so I just did very simple matte eyes today I used the Lorac unzipped palette the original one and uh, yeah just got a little bit of Mary Luminizer from the balm in my inner corners so let's open this up and see how it swatches see if it's any good as far as I know this one only comes in one color right now the Kat Von D liner does come in brown and black Black, but yeah this one just comes in black as far as I know right now it would be so cool if they came out with different colors especially a white next come out with a white in the brush tip please I need it in my life at least come out with a brush tip if this is good because if it's bad I don't really care what it comes out in but I have pretty high hopes for this I'm gonna be quite honest so this is what it looks like you guys taking it out of the packaging it just says NYX professional makeup epic ink liner it's got cute packaging here I like it oh man this is looking very similar to the Kat Von D I am getting excited you guys okay so let's swatch it on my hand and see how it looks very pigmented, very easy to use, so that is really great. Let's so go ahead, I'm gonna swatch the Kat Von D right underneath it, so I've got my Tattoo Liner and Trooper, just to show you guys what the actual wand looks like. It is, it doesn't look exactly the same, so they don't look like the exact same product, but on this side is the NYX, and on this side is the Kat Von D, so the brush tip does look very similar, although the Kat Von D one is just a tad more, um, thin so you can see it's not like perfectly the same but I think we should be able to achieve a similar effect so let's go ahead and swatch the Kat Von D underneath the NYX just to see color wise and everything so the Kat Von D does swatch a little bit thinner just because the brush tip is slightly thinner on it so let's go ahead and put this NYX liner on my eye I kind of like I'm debating between whether or not I want to put Kat Von D on one side and NYX on the other side I feel like that probably would actually be helpful to you guys to see if this one is going to be a good dupe for it so I think I am going to do that we will do that today so I'm going to start out with the NYX on my right eye which is probably going to be y'all's left Hello, Peep. Thank you for gracing us with your presence in the background. But uh, so let's take this liner and see what kind of wing we can create and if it will be easy. So how I like to do it is I start at the bottom. I just draw a little line and then I don't usually go into my liner with any expectations because sometimes it just gets thicker and thicker and thicker. So we are just going to go in how I normally go in. So I can't really talk a whole lot while I do this. So you guys can just observe, I guess. <laughs> Okay. 
I do think it is very pigmented. Like it barely takes me touching it down to get like really opaque color from this. So I really appreciate that because sometimes with the Kat Von D you have to, you know, do it a couple times. Alright, so we've got a pretty basic black wing going on there. I think that the color of this, this is very like pigmented black. Like it said in the description, this is a really, really opaque black and I really appreciate that. So that is the NYX liner wing. So we're going to go ahead and do the Kat Von D on the other eye and you guys can see if it looks any different. But I, first impression, I really like this. It worked extremely well. It worked just like the Kat Von D in terms of application and even looks a tiny bit blacker than the Kat Von D. So let's go ahead and go in with KVD on the other eye. Now obviously no one is perfect and these wings are not going to be exactly even perfect awesomeness. I know that so that is not really what I'm going for here. Can I can get my Apple Watch real quick? <laughs> yes you may. <laughs> Come make and a cameo you, in my video. Are you an SB or all right, we're filming right now. Yeah, we are really working hard, okay? Yeah, we're interrupting. Well. See, just from like initial application, I can tell that the NYX one is more pigmented. Can you guys tell that? I mean, I have had this one for a little while, but even when I first get it, I do have to like, you know, kind of keep going over it a couple times in order to get like black, black liner. I think I made the Kat Von D one a little bit longer. We may have to uh, lengthen the next side here in a second. I will say since the tip is a little bit thinner with the Kat Von D, it's a little bit easier to get all the way into that inner corner. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the NYX one real quick on this eye and see if I can get that wing out just a tad longer because you just get carried away sometimes. Alrighty, so I think that is about as even as we are going to get them today. So just for reference, this is the NYX Cosmetics side and this is the Kat Von D side. So they don't really look very different in my opinion, like now that it's already on and dried and everything. But I will say in, or in terms of the application, I liked the way that the NYX one went on better. And that is really surprising me because this is half the price of the Kat Von D one. And like I said, this one isn't brand new, but even when this one is brand new, it still applies pretty much the same exact way so that is what we're looking like right now and the time for check-in is 11 33 a.m so i'm gonna go ahead and real quick do my mascara just off camera and i will be back here in a second and i'm gonna use the pikachu tony moly mascara from my most recent ebay finds i can link that video up here for you guys if you want to watch it but this mascara is bomb and it's from ebay so uh yeah let's uh let's do that really quickly here and i will be back in just a second and my mascara is on so we are ready to go throughout our day so I'm just gonna zoom you guys back out all right you guys so obviously check-in time still just around 11 35 it took me two minutes to apply my mascara but uh, I will check in with you guys throughout the day and we can see in terms of the NYX side and the Kat Von D side which one wears better throughout the day so I will be back with you guys in a couple of hours to check in you by the fire listen listen there's something i must confide i know i said that it'd be fine i know i made it look like it'd be all right but i think i learned my lesson and i'm not gonna let you out of my sight you can call me killer cause i'll bring you 
put some of it away when you can put it all away at once <laughs> anyways guys it is now 3 42 so it's been just around like four hours ish since i applied my liner so let's zoom in and see what we've got going on okay 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 from what i am seeing here it looks pretty much the same you guys so so far so good this is the NYX side in case you don't remember and this is the Kat Von D side the Kat Von D one has already started kind of um, rubbing down below my eye this always happens with the Kat Von D one but I just wanted to show you guys that that is happening just because I guess like water goes to the edge of my eye so that always happens with any liner that I use but the NYX one well, yeah, I guess it kind of looks the same, I guess, if you're really looking at it. It's pretty much the same. So they're both wearing the exact same way so far. So I will check back in with you guys in another couple of hours and we can see how they are doing. But so far, I'm impressed and I'm excited. final check-in time and no I still haven't put away the laundry that will be done after this video is done being filmed but right now it is 10 27 so we're coming right at about 11 hours of wear time on the eyeliner so let's zoom in and see what's going on all right so just again for reference NYX Kat Von D so let's see in my little mirror here um, both of them are still there. They didn't really fade a whole lot. I will say this one looks like it's got some some stuff going on, but this one also looks like it's got some stuff going on. This one's slightly worse, I think, with the uh, the smudging. But overall, I mean, they both stayed. The only thing is, like, that little part is fading on the next one, but 
it's also fading on this one because the Kat Von D always does that to me also. So to me, they look pretty similar. So if I was going to say which one will I buy next when they run out, I'm going to be buying the next one next, you guys. I don't see any reason to spend $19 on the Kat Von D one when this one is only $8 and it works pretty much the same way. I think this is a really great dupe for the Kat Von D and being 100% honest with you guys, I am excited that this is so cheap and I can get it at Ulta or Target. As you guys saw, I did see it in Ulta stores today, so that's really exciting. I can get some rewards points going with that. So I am so pumped to have found this dupe, you guys, and you're gonna be seeing this a lot more in my videos, I am sure. So that is everything, you guys. I hope you guys liked this video if you did be sure to show some love to the like button down there and if you subscribe you can be a member of my Mia's family and I love you guys so so much thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video loud barking dog please stop I'm trying to end my video see you guys later <laughs>